I've made no secret of my love of Gone Home. Years after I've played it, it's still sitting comfortably in my top 10 gaming experiences of all time. The Fulbright Company's next release, Tacoma, has had me psyched since I first read about it back in 2015. In many ways, Tacoma is a logical progression of the mechanics and narrative techniques of Gone Home, and it's an experience which really shows off the unique storytelling capabilities of interactive fiction. If you have played Gone Home, you can think of Tacoma as Gone Home in Space. If you haven't played Gone Home, Tacoma is probably best described as a detective game, where through audiovisual logs, notes, and found items, you build up a mental picture of the events leading to the Tacoma Space Station's current deserted state. In addition to solving the central mystery of what happened to the station, you'll explore the relationships between its inhabitants and gain a window into their motivations, fears, and aspirations. Like I mentioned in my review of Dear Esther, one of the most interesting aspects of the gameplay in these sorts of walking simulators is that the investigation objectives aren't ordained by the game itself. There are, technically, objectives that you have to follow, but they're very basic and you could technically complete this game by going to three or four places and standing still for a few hours while some data downloads. I think the core of the gameplay, for most people, will come from unprompted personal investigations, fueled by a desire to know more about the characters in this world. We primarily learn about Tacoma's crew from a series of augmented reality recordings. These show a few minutes at a time of in-person interactions between the crew, several days prior to you arriving at the station. These are convincingly acted and animated, and for the most part, believably convey the crew's anxieties, frustrations, and affections. Thankfully, you aren't just staying in one place while these recordings play out. Characters move around the station and converse with different crew members, so to gather all information, you'll need to play back the recordings multiple times, staying within earshot of different conversations. It's a nice way of making the typical audio log style of storytelling feel more interactive and engaging. Despite the insights gleaned from these recordings, we actually learn more about the characters from the location itself. The books that characters read, the emails that you're able to access, and the ephemera strewn around the characters' rooms and offices all help to build a detailed backstory for the crew. One of the greatest joys in this game is finding a piece of evidence which completely recontextualizes a conversation you encountered earlier. While it does occasionally break narrative immersion a little bit to find a security code left out in the open, or a revealing aspect of someone's past from a conveniently placed article clipping, I think that these are concessions to gameplay that are required to keep the game going. Finding convenient parcels of exposition in someone's trash might not be realistic, but that doesn't change the feeling of satisfaction derived from finding new information. Any dips in narrative realism are offset by just how much thought and care has been put into making locations and objects feel believable and scientifically consistent. Tacoma is near future science fiction, it's set in 2088, and all of the technologies that allow life on Tacoma are grounded in modern day research. One of the central plot points concerns the space station's AI, Odin, and it's not hard to see Odin as a very beefed up version of Amazon's Alexa or Google Home. The gravity and habitation modules isn't created by some unexplained scientific force, it's simulated by a centrifugal force as modules of the space station independently rotate. Outside of these modules, when you're not using magnetic footwear, you float freely in microgravity, propelled by small thrusters on your clothes. All of the meat on Tacoma is ethically lab-grown, and this is a technology that's currently undergoing some exciting baby steps right now. Seriously, you can check out these companies if you're interested in learning more about that stuff. From the instructions for preparing dehydrated drinks in space, to the medication to deal with microgravity-induced nausea, Tacoma is brimming with realistic details that reward your sense of curiosity. Everywhere you look, there are little reminders that this world has been thought out thoroughly. I can't talk about the story any further without spoiling anything, and I think it's best experience going in blind. It suffices to say that I was hooked on Tacoma's slow burn narrative for the entirety of my four hour playthrough. It made me feel like a real investigator, and the narrative payoff was very satisfying. If you enjoyed Gone Home or Her Story and are looking for more games in that vein, Tacoma will definitely scratch that narrative itch. But if you've never played any walking simulators before, Tacoma is a wonderful introduction to what makes the genre special.
Thanks for watching. If this is your first time to my channel, please consider subscribing to see more of these discussions in the future. I also make a whole bunch of covers of video game music, so if that's your thing, you can check that out with the cards on screen now. Take care of yourself, and I'll catch you soon.